today I'm going to be doing a Korean fashion haul um, and I got pieces inspired by Red Velvet. So I know a lot of you guys wanted me to do a video kind of like the Blackpink video but for Red Velvet um, but I want to do something different so I decided to just buy pieces that were inspired by Red Velvet and not necessarily make like entire outfits inspired by them. But I'm so thankful and so excited because I am partnering with Dejo for this video. So if you haven't heard of them, they are a Korean online clothing store. Um, they have a lot of really affordable, great quality pieces and they also sell like a bunch of different styles. So if you're looking for something really girly or something really casual and comfortable, um, you can just go there because they have a bunch of different stuff. So I was really happy when they reached out to work with me because it's the perfect place since it's Korean fashion and it had a bunch of stuff for me to get for pieces inspired by red velvet if you guys want to shop i will leave a link down below where you can get 10 percent off and also leave all the item links as well and since black friday's coming up they're gonna have a little promo for that too i'll leave everything in the description box so whenever I was picking out stuff, I was looking at outfits more inspired by colder weather because it's the season. So I'm going to start with this. I think I know what this is. Yes! Okay, so I got this beige nude cardigan. So I saw this picture of Yeti wearing this kind of similar cardigan and it looked really pretty on her it was such like a simple and cute little cozy look so i really wanted to get one for myself so i got this really light colored one and i thought it'd be perfect i can even wear it over this but yeah i thought this was one of those cardigans where like you can really just throw it on over anything and it'll go with it oh my gosh this is so cute so this is what the cardigan looks like and I think it fits so well. I feel like it cuts off at a really great length and it's a little bit loose but not too oversized so you can definitely wear long sleeves under it. Okay, so I kind of want to show you the material. So it looks like this. Um, it's kind of like a knitted material. But yeah, this is so cute. I really like it. And I also love how it's a little bit loose because then I can wear um, long sleeves under it and it doesn't fit too tight and it just looks so nice. Okay, I took some time to organize all the clothes because I really wanted to remember who inspired what. So I just took a little bit to kind of lay out each um, piece of clothing. Okay, so the next item is this black skirt, and I'm really excited about this because you guys know what I love. Elastic waists! So this has a stretchy waist in the back, and I was looking at a bunch of photos of Red Velvet from whenever they were doing the whole like bad boy era stuff, and they're wearing a lot of all black outfits, maybe some hints of red here and there, but um, I really loved the way those looked. They look so beautiful and sexy. So I got this black skirt to go with this black top. Um, I found a couple pictures of Yeti and this top that Irene was wearing and I thought they would look really great together. So I saw Irene was wearing a cold shoulder top so I got something similar but a little bit more casual and it's this. So this top has quarter sleeves. It has a little a uh, couple straps right here um, to kind of give the cold shoulder look on the left arm. But yeah, I thought that this top would go well with this skirt give off the whole bad boy vibes but a lot more casual okay so this is what it looks like i think it looks so good together this top is like really nice and loose it's kind of like a um, very light material i don't know if you guys can tell um and then this skirt is like very very sturdy but yeah what do you guys think I think it looks so cute. I really like it. <laughs> it's definitely something that you can take from like daytime look wearing some vans or you can go into the night wearing like heeled boots or something like that. All right, so the next outfit was inspired by Joy because I found a few pictures of her wearing um, kind of beige coats. So I got this one. So this one is this beige coat and I love the inside because it's like really nicely padded so i feel like this is going to be a coat that's going to be keeping me really warm i'm actually going to be traveling to back to dallas soon for the holidays um so this is going to be really great because it does get pretty cold in texas so i'm really excited about this um i think it looks really nice um i also got 
I got a white turtleneck. Um, I thought it would go well with this beige coat and I thought it was very wintry. And I also bought some jeans because I really loved these on the site. Um, they're like these really dark wash jeans and they kind of have um, frayed hem, a frayed hem on the ends. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna try and wear these together for a very joy inspired outfit. Oh my gosh, you guys, these pants are amazing. Okay, look. So the fabric is really stretchy. So when I slipped it on, I was nervous because it looked really slimming. But when I just put my leg in, it just like, I don't know how to explain it. It just like fit and formed around my leg so comfortably. Like I can like go like this, sling. And then also on the back, it's stretchy. I had no idea that these pants are gonna be like this or these jeans, but they're kind of like stretchy jeans or jeggings, but like, you know how sometimes jeggings look more like leggings than jeans? These look just like jeans. Anyways, I thought I'd mention that because I am very pleased with these pants. Like, look at them. I feel like they form my body so well. Okay, anyways, enough about the jeans. Um, I'm gonna put this jacket on. Oh my gosh, I love this outfit so much. I feel like this is such a staple cold weather outfit. I never thought to purchase jackets like this because I thought they would cut off on me really weird right here, but they actually don't and they, I don't know, they look so nice. You guys, I'm so happy with this outfit. It's so cute. Hey. Okay, so for the next piece, um, I actually got this kind of, let me get it really quick. So I actually got this long trench jacket. So remember how I was telling you guys how the other one that I got from Yesta I really like, but I don't really like how the sleeves were so wide. Um, I found this one. And I actually was reminded about it because whenever I was looking up the red velvet inspired looks, I found this photo of Solgi wearing this um, long trench jacket. She was just wearing a trench jacket with like a white tee and jeans and it just looked so minimal and laid back and just really effortless looking. So I wanted to find another trench jacket. So I found this one. Sorry, I'm just undoing all the buttons. <laughs> Yeah, so I found this one. Let me just throw it on. Okay, I like this one a lot better. I just really like how the sleeves are a little bit more fitted on the other one. They're just so wide, but this one, it looks so good. I really like the color too. It's kind of like um, a tan beige, but kind of looks a little bit green. It also comes with um, this little belt so you can put it around but I kind of just like wearing it like this so this is how long it is on me and I am around five five by five and a half so if that helps by the way I forgot to mention all the sizes that I got these in but I'll leave those in the description box um, and all like my body information that I feel like is relevant but anyways I'm very happy with this this is like gonna be my new favorite trench jacket honestly it was so hard for me to um, make sure that I included all the members because like I really like all the members sense of style but for me I feel like I really like whatever Sulgi wears I feel like she looks so good in it so it was hard for me to not just choose a bunch of <laughs> clothes that um, or outfits that Sulgi was wearing I did my best to mix everyone up oh and I noticed I didn't really talk about like the jacket but it looks like this I don't really know what to call this material um, but hopefully the sound and the video helps um, on the inside it's kind of like this um, really soft kind of satiny material on the inside it's very very comfortable and very lightweight so for the next item I actually got um, the same jacket that I wore for Joy's outfit um, I got it in black I saw a lot of them wearing um, like black blazer type jackets um, so I wanted to get another one and I'm glad I did because this one just fits so nicely that I'm glad I got it in a different color but anyways I saw Sogi I know I picked another one of her outfits but <laughs> I was just talking about how I was trying to mix up the outfits and now I'm talking about Sogi again. She was wearing this outfit where she was wearing like a black blazer or a blazer jacket and then she was wearing a 
it's a very unique color i feel like it's kind of a muted red but light red color um i just love the way the two colors went together so i actually found sorry just undoing the buttons on this jacket again <laughs> but i found this top isn't this such a pretty color i really like it i don't have any colors like this in my closet but i thought it looked similar to hers and then if you just layer doesn't that look so pretty i feel like this um color combo looks nice because this really just like pops out anyways gonna change into this i really like uh button up tops because i feel like you can take them from being really casual to really nice looking for example if you want it to look kind of nice then you can button it up all the way or um, towards the top and then you can like tuck it in all the way to, into a into a pair of jeans or something And it looks really like chic and stuff But if you want it to be a lot more casual You can just like tuck one side in like that and like leave it hanging out and like have the sleeves like this um, It's just a really versatile top. So I really like when I get stuff like this But I'm gonna tuck mine in I feel like it'll look better if I tuck it all in with the um, blazer jacket I'm also gonna roll up these sleeves a bit. And the jacket. Yes! <laughs> you guys, I seriously love this jacket so much. I don't know if I mentioned this, but it's a pretty good weight for a jacket. So for colder weather, maybe not like snow snow weather, but for colder temperatures, I feel like this is such a good jacket because it's so thick. But yeah, this would look super cute with like a black purse and maybe like a beret or something and then add some black boots and you've got like this really nice kind of wintry outfit. You guys, I seriously have been sitting here for like two minutes just looking at this jacket because I really like it. Wow, it's just so nice and it just will go with everything. So the top looks like this, um, just to show the top a little bit more up close. Um, but it looks like this and it's um it's very loose and flowy um, it's not like a cotton material but it's not uncomfortable or itchy or anything I really love this top because I think the color is super unique and if you just wore it with like a pair of jeans or something um, I think it will still look really nice and put together okay so this next piece is a button-up midi dress it also comes with a little string so you can tie it around the waist to kind of cinch it in. <laughs> it's another Sogi picture, but okay, wait. <laughs> I actually did see a lot of photos of all the members wearing midi dresses, but I particularly, particularly liked the ones she was wearing um, or the ones she was wearing because it just looked so... It looked very me. Like I loved the color of it. She was wearing a really pretty beret and like it just looked like something I could see myself wearing a lot. So that's why I was inspired by that photo. Can you tell that she's like my favorite? <laughs> I also just really like her because she makes me feel so confident about my eyes. Like she's so beautiful um, and she just makes me feel so much, I don't know, she makes me feel like my eyes are really pretty too so anyway i'm gonna put this on for you guys it looks very baggy and oversized right now so i'm going to cinch it in with the little string that it comes with okay guys so what do you think i think it looks so pretty you guys know how much i love midi dresses so of course i had to get one of these and i love the color i think it looks so warm and perfect for like the fall and stuff. You know what else I really like about this? So when I stand up, sorry you guys, I really like this dress. So I just wanna play around with it a little bit. What do you guys think? <laughs> I think it looks cute with the leopard beret. Anyways, this is my sulky inspired look, my third one. <laughs> okay, we are down to our last couple of items and this one is going to be inspired by Wendy. So I saw a photo of her wearing this like oversized flannel and like very loose pants and with her hair up and she just looked super like, she looked super cool and laid back. <laughs> so I wanna try and also look cool and laid back. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly change into this, BRB. 
Ah, I'm stuck. Forgot to unbutton the buttons. You guys, so I got these pants from Dejo as well. And look, they're stretchy. Oh my, I'm wearing them backwards. Look, the pockets are here. Okay, that's better. There are the pockets. These pants are stretchy and they have pockets. Okay, this is the flannel. It's actually pretty weighted. Like it's a little bit heavy. It's not like super, super heavy, but it's definitely got some weight to it. It's very oversized, which I like because it definitely gives off the super like laid back look. You can also wear like a white t-shirt under it and then layer the flannel on top, kind of like Wendy did. But I also like it kind of just buttoned up and loose like this. I think it looks really cool. But for the sake of being an inspired look, I'm gonna throw on a white top under. Just gonna tuck this in and then flannel on top. Okay, that looks really cool too. So you can also wear it like this. You guys, I actually don't wear outfits like this very much, like super kind of laid back, chill, like I guess streetwear look. But you guys know what I mean, right? Like really effortlessly cool, like you didn't really try, but you still look really cool. I kind of feel like I look like I'm part of One Million Dance or whatever. <laughs> Do you guys know who I'm talking about? But anyways, this flannel is really nice. I'm pretty sure I could also share this with Jimmy. And then these pants are my favorite. They're super stretchy, they have pockets, and they also cut off at a pretty good place on my legs. I can definitely see myself styling this with my platform vans um, or combat boots or my Nike Air Force Ones, just for kind of a more tough, um, laid back kind of feel. Okay guys, so that's everything that I got from Dejo. Um, I hope that you guys liked it. I didn't want to just do the same video as the black pink one, so I hope you enjoyed this kind of like red velvet inspired Korean fashion try on haul. <laughs> I honestly loved everything that I picked out like everything just fit so nicely and the quality was really good like nothing was wrong with any of the clothing so if you guys are looking for another Korean fashion online store to check out I would definitely check out Dejo again I'll leave a bunch of links to the items down below they're also gonna be having a Black Friday sale um, I'm gonna leave a discount code down below so definitely check down there I also really wanted to quickly say thank you so much to Dejo for partnering with me and thank you so much to you guys especially for supporting me so I can do stuff like this. Um, it really, really helps me so much. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and you thought it was fun and I will see you guys next time. Bye!